Jack has always dreamed of becoming a member of a secret society called Mars. But to get accepted, he had to go through a maze and deal with a tough trial. First of all, Jack was given six eggs. His task was to break two, cook two, and eat two. But before doing it, he had to figure out how many eggs he would have in the end. Jack broke, cook, and ate two eggs. It left him with four eggs. Jack was allowed to move further. Soon, he saw a piece of paper lying on the ground. He picked it up and saw a puzzle. 1 equals 5, 2 equals 1, 5, 3 equals 2, 1, 5, 4 equals 3, 2, 1, 5, 5 equals… Jack had to figure out what number was hidden under the question mark. Five equals one, because one equals five. Jack walked down the corridor and saw a teleportation capsule. There was no way to squeeze past it, so he climbed in. After the door opened again, he found himself in a room with four doors and a deep pit in the middle. Behind the first door, there was a ferocious tiger. The space behind the second door was filled with bubbling lava. The third door prevented poisonous gas from leaking into the room. And the fourth door led to a tiny storage room with no windows. Jack had to decide fast how to get out of this trap. He opened the first door. When the tiger jumped at him, Jack stepped aside. The animal fell into the pit, and the man escaped through the first room. Soon Jack entered a large hall with three cardboard boxes in the center. One of them had white balls inside, the second contained black balls, and the third was filled with black and white balls. The boxes were sealed and labeled, but all the labels were wrong. Jack was allowed to open one box, pick a ball, check its color, and put the ball back into the box. How many times would the man have to repeat this action to label all the boxes correctly? Jack managed to do it after picking just one ball. He chose the box labeled BW, which stood for black-white. Since all labels were wrong, it could be either BB or WW. He pulled out a black ball, so the box was actually BB. Then logically, Jack figured out the rest of the boxes. Jack came across a note stuck to the wall of the passage. It said, 2 plus 2 is the same as 2 times 2. Find a set of three whole numbers whose sum will be the same as their total when multiplied. Jack didn't need much time to figure out the answer. These numbers are 1, 2, and 3. Jack kept walking deeper into the maze. Suddenly, he felt something hit him on the head, and he blacked out. When he came around, He was on a tropical island. The ground he was lying on was shaking. He heard some rumbling and realized to his horror that it was a volcano awakening. He had three options to save his life. To climb a tree, run away as fast as he could, or hide in a cave and barricade the entrance. The worst thing about volcanoes is the toxic gases they emit. That's why climbing a tree or running away wouldn't save Jack. Luckily, he chose to hide in the cave and seal up the entrance. 
The next thing Jack knew, he was in a jail cell. It was rather small, with a dirt floor and a small window high above the ground. The only thing the man spotted was a tiny shovel in the corner. In a couple of hours, Jack managed to break free from the cell. How come? He dug a hole in the floor, then he made a pile from the soil, climbed on top of it, and escaped through the window. Only to find himself with his hands full with new riddles. To crack the first one, Jack had to arrange four nines to make them equal 100. He could use any math symbols. Jack figured out the correct answer pretty fast. 99 plus 9 ninths equal 100. The next riddle was even trickier. A farmer only keeps goats, sheep, and horses on his farm. At the moment, they're all horses but five, all goats but four, and all sheep but three. Jack needed to understand how many of each animal the farmer had. There were three sheep, two goats, and one horse on the farm. Altogether, there were six animals. The next room Jack entered had nothing inside but a blackboard on the wall. There were four words written on it. Pin, check, boiling, view. Jack had to figure out a five-letter word that could be added to each of them to make a valid word or word combination. Jack soon realized that the necessary word is point. He got pinpoint, checkpoint, boiling point, and viewpoint. Jack was exhausted. He found a safe nook and fell asleep. When the man woke up, he felt something was wrong. While resting, he turned into a metal robot. Jack looked around. The place seemed to be a dungeon, dark, damp, and freezing cold. There were three corridors leading out of that place. The first passage had a treacherous floor. Some of its panels could collapse, sending people into an abyss. Massive boulders fell from the ceiling of the second corridor every 30 seconds. And the third passage was filled with giant cacti, whose thorns were covered in poison. Wow, which corridor was the safest? Jack picked the third corridor. Thorns would do nothing to his now metal body, even the ones covered in poison. As soon as Jack went through the third passage, he was himself again, a warm-blooded human. But the man immediately wished he could become a bird instead. He was falling from a great height. Luckily, he had a parachute and it opened. Now Jack had to choose where to land. In the middle of an ocean, in a desert, or in the mountains. What's the best option? If Jack landed on the water, his parachute could fall on top of him, pulling the man underwater. In the mountains, he'd crash into a rocky slope. The best option among the worst was the desert. Sand would make Jack's landing smoother, and the parachute would protect him from the blazing sun. After wandering for an hour or so, Jack was picked up by a jeep and brought to a strange building. It looked like a planetarium, with the photos of distant stars on the walls. In the middle, there was a screen with a riddle on it. N-E-U-S-R-N-E-R-R-S-T-H-U-S? 
Jack had to figure out what was hiding under the question mark. He typed in RY, and it was the right answer. The list was made up of the last two letters of the solar system's planets' names, in the order from Neptune to Mercury. Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Venus, Mercury. After tackling one task after another, Jack finally reached the last stage. He had to crack the riddle created by the Mars Society founders Jacob and Trevor. Both of them were genius mathematicians with unsurpassed logical thinking skills. The riddle went like this. One out of nine identical balls is heavier than the others. How can you figure out which one it is after just two weighings? It took Jack several minutes to solve this riddle. What did he do? He divided all the balls into three groups and weighed two of them. That's how he figured out which group contained the heavy ball. After that, he picked two balls from the heaviest group, weighed one against the other, and understood which ball of the three was overweight. Jack has passed all the trials with flying colors. His dreams come true. He's now a member of the Mars Society. If you've solved 1 to 5 riddles, it's too early for you to join the secret organization. They'll most likely recommend that you practice for several more months. If your result is 6 to 10 correct answers, the chances are you'll be allowed to join the secret society, but you'll probably have a probation period. If you cracked 11 to 14 riddles, you're as smart as Jack and maybe even Jacob and Trevor. In fact, they might look for you to invite you to join their society. Good work!